Following a death, physical items belonging to a person can be passed on to family and friends and instructions on what items should be given to whom are usually specified within a will. But what about items that are stored online? Over time, many of us will accumulate a certain amount of personal online assets such as books, music, videos and photographs that are hosted by online providers. To sign up to these online accounts, you have to agree to the provider's terms and conditions. These user agreements are unique to every online provider, but in most cases it usually means that these type of items cannot be transferred to someone else even in the event of your death. So for things that hold significant value to you such as photographs and videos, make sure you have copies of these within your personal files and folders so these can be passed on as you wish, but don't forget to tell someone where these can be found. As we all increasingly live and manage our lives online, we rely less on paper copies of receipts, bills and bank statements, so if you were to die, a loved one may find it difficult to know all the online accounts that you held. As user agreements state that you must not share your passwords or login details to your account, you can help your loved ones in the future by maintaining a list of all the organisations that you hold online accounts with so your family and friends can contact these providers to have your account closed down. You could even think about storing this list alongside your will. If you have recently lost a loved one and you do not know what accounts they had, then there are certain things you can do which may help identify the providers they used. If you have access to their IT equipment, their emails may give you some clue as to who they communicated with. Check their website browsing history for the websites they have frequently or recently visited. If you have access to their bank statements, you can see which organisations they subscribed to or transacted with. Once you know which organisations your loved one dealt with, you can contact them for assistance. For more information and guidance, visit our website.